everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I've got the last of the 2019 planners that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys. So I actually unboxed this yesterday. It came in the mail. I just wanted to show you guys the packaging and talk about it for a second. So I ordered a plum paper planner and also a pack of stickers. They do have a subscription box and also a sticker subscription. These are just ones from their website. So I ended up with two packs of these. I noticed just right now that that one is folded a little bit. You can see there's a crease on there. These are a matte finish and they're very, very thin, but they don't feel super flimsy. So there are a bunch of different little dew drops and circles. And then there are also these hexagons down at the bottom. So I just got two packs of the same thing. It comes with two sheets each. And so this is the other sheet that comes with it, different little banners and labels. So we've got appointments, goals, priority, schedule, to do, and to buy. So I thought those would be cute. You can cover up some headers with these if you want to. Just got two packs because they're little things that I could use a lot of. So I thought two packs would get me pretty far. So the stickers actually came shipped separately and I thought that was kind of weird, but the little thing that the stickers came in was really nice and sturdy. It's a little cardboard thing and it was easy to just peel it open and get my stickers out. They're also wrapped in a little plastic thing. So that was very nice. Then this was my planner. It did come bubble wrapped. I have ordered many plum paper planner products in the past and they've always come really nicely packed. And these ones are bubble wrapped now. So it just came in here and it was also again in the plastic just in case there was water or something. Now I ordered when there was a little bit of a Labor Day sale and if you ordered so much as far as it, like a dollar amount, you got these cute little hexagon paper clips and they're pretty heavy. This says there's 12 of them, but it actually feels really weighty. And so I actually really like the packaging on this because you can slide these back in. It's got a little envelope and it's a really nice sturdy envelope actually. So I was gonna just get in here and get one of these off and see, yeah, they're, they're nice and thick and I think those will be really cute. So you could have a triangle side or a hexagon side, which is, I think they're just adorable. So I can slide that back on here. Maybe if I can figure out how to get it back on. There we go. They have a ton of different accessories. And like I said, they do have a subscription box. So it comes with all sorts of little things. Then it also came with a thank you card. And they also include a piece of the cover material so that you can talk about the cover. I actually don't like the Plum Paper Planner covers. Um, they are a weird material and I'll show it to you in a second. And it says, get your product for free. Follow, post pictures, and on the first of the month they do a drawing. And then that person receives a refund, which is really cool. So um, it talks about, you know, their planners on the other side. They also do have a referral program. I'll leave my link down below for you guys if you're interested in anything you see today or giving them a try. I have used their planners for multiple years in the past. It does work with Erin Condren covers, so that's what I usually do with it. I just put an Erin Condren cover on it because I don't really like the uh, plastic sheet and then the cover. I do think that these ones are much more durable than years past. I feel like this cover is much thicker than I remember them being and same with the plastic sheet. So you do get the option to really customize your layout. You can pick different shapes for the label, pick different colors for the label and the writing, different fonts for the writing. Of course, you can add whatever you want in the label. There's also an option to do a banner like down here and do your name there instead. And there's also an option to put the date or leave the date off. It really is up, all up to personal preference and they've got hundreds of different cover designs. So I don't know that this is a removable cover but I think they may have dabbled with removable covers in the past. I do have a video where I snipped my cover off really carefully and I showed that in a video in case you wanted to keep your cover for later. And this is something, I don't remember that having the little herringbone pattern on the back side of the cover. So as far as the planner layout goes, this is a completely new to me layout and I actually, again, I wasn't interested in getting a planner, but when I saw this layout and I was like, this is the planner. It might be my unicorn planner. It was just so perfect. And it's actually a student planner. I have never looked at their student planners. I've never looked at them at all, but they posted an Instagram photo of this layout. And I said, what is that? I need that in my life. And so I ended up ordering one. So I got the neutral, which is um, just the white and the 
dark blue and it's not as dark as I expected it to be. It's more like a, a lighter version of navy blue. So anyway, we'll walk through the planner. The colorful has bigger tabs than this. I like that these ones are actually really small. I think they're cute. So we've got the student planner and the page that says your personal info on there in case you lose it. We've got a 2018 year at a glance and then a 2019 year at a glance. Going with this, I think Plum Paper Planner has the best customization options. So I have 2018 and 2019 because my planner starts in 2018 and goes through 2019. You can pick when your planner starts, like I picked October because I knew it was gonna ship in September and so I could start next month, but you can have it start on the beginning of the year. You can start on whatever month you want. I don't know how many months you could do. I think you can make it 18 months, but I love that feature. That you could just start your planner whenever you want. You don't have to buy a certain six month or 12 month planner. You really get your options. Mine's actually a 15 month planner because I added the three months for this year and then the 12 for next year. And so you really get to customize it exactly how you want it. And I love that. And there's also a lot more customization that we'll talk about when we walk through. I did get a couple of add-on items. I'll talk about those when we get there. So anyway, the year at a glance, and then we move into the special dates. And these, this page really shows the neutral also. It's just a neutral blue. And then this is called ideas, plans, goals. You can use that for whatever you want. Various categories or plan them out as a yearly thing as well. And so this is a student planner. So it does have these school year pages, which I'll never use. But in case you are a student, it'd be nice to have your school schedule on there with all sorts of logins and contact info in case you're interested in keeping track of that. And there's some more little sections. And so now we move into the planner itself. So this is like a cardstock weight paper. It's not exactly matte finish, but it's also not very glossy, except the tab. The tab is a little laminated. You can see the shine on there. It's a little bit shiny, but it's not super high gloss. And then they have the gold page on the back side. And you'll probably not be able to write on this with all kinds of pens because it does have that little bit of a sheen to it. And then we move into the month. We've got a lined page right there. And then the month at a glance. And they do have the holidays on here. Hope you can see that. And then their stuff is on the left side. So you've got a blank little section for keeping track of whatever you want. And then the little glance at the month for next month. So moving onward, here is the layout. And this is exactly why I bought this planner. I'll leave the name of this one down below for you guys. I don't know the exact name of this layout, but I saw this and I went bonkers. I just could not believe how good this layout was. So one of my problems I have with the column style layouts is they are so stinking skinny. And these ones are thicker because it has the five days of the week in the columns and then the weekends on one column. So there's six columns, which I just absolutely love. And I mostly plan Monday through Friday anyway. If we have something on the weekend, there's plenty of room for that on here, but I hardly ever have these for the weekend. I'm more of a weekday planner. I plan out Olivia and my schedule and my video content and chores and appointments and all that stuff. So this schedule works perfectly for that. And what I love also about the Plum Paper Planners now is they will customize the different sections. So you can put a title for up here, a title here, I picked this title, Healthy Habits, for this little tracker here. I also got to pick this section, this section, and you could put a title down here as well. So it's completely, almost 100% customizable. They have so many different layouts to choose from, and I've used them multiple years in the past. This is the first time I've gotten one that's super customizable in the layout. In the past, they had one other layout that you could customize to this level, and now they all come like that. So if you get one of the morning, afternoon, evening planners, you know, the three sections, you can put the title on the three sections, be whatever you want, and have it printed that way. And I think that is so cool. I left some of these spots blank because I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna fill the sections with, but I knew certain ones I wanted to fill. So there's this little habit tracker were Monday through Sunday, which is how the planner is set up, Monday through Sunday. And I just made it healthy habits because I can track like my water intake or exercise, things along that line. I can keep track of them, check them off. I love that the habit tracker is on the same page. There is a habit tracker in the Inkwell Press Planner, but you have to flip back and forth between pages to get to it. 
I love that this is right there. So I have my little weekly habit tracker and then the sections up here, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with those. I've got this section called on the schedule and this is where I'm gonna put appointments or play dates or Olivia's school schedule. Anything that's timed will go up on the schedule part. And then the top three will be the three things I most wanna get accomplished for the day. And so I really like to have that kind of priority built into the schedule. The one thing I would say is I really like the dots to go all the way down just for the sake of, you know, making this a bulleted list, but I guess I understand why they don't in case you wanna like take notes in this section, but I'm gonna be using it as just a to-do list as well. So I'll put my top three on my to-do list here and then carry down the rest on the bottom. And then down here, I think I'm gonna put meals. I've been writing my meals in my planner recently. So I think I'll probably use that for meals. I didn't wanna title it that in case I changed my mind. Like I was really sure about these three sections and I wasn't quite sure about the other sections. And so I really like this layout with the neutral. The color is very subtle. There's not a whole lot of color. And I just love this layout. I love that the columns are thicker. I will grab another one of my planners to show you guys the difference. So this is an old, plum paper planner I didn't use all the way and so I just opened to a page but look how skinny those columns are in comparison like grab a ruler here so you get a column for every day I'll open it up so you guys can see I don't have a cover on this one right now but in this one you have you know extra stuff on the side to make it all even there's four different sections four different sections over here and so they're much skinnier than having three sections and so we'll We'll go in inches here. So these are a little less than an inch and a half. And then these ones are almost two inches, a little less than two inches, which is awesome. So these ones are so nice and big. And that way I'm not using three lines to write out one task. Where here I could fit in a couple of words. And on this one, I always felt like I was taking up two lines for every thing that I was doing. And one thing I also didn't like the checklist thing down at the bottom. Like here, the priority list is at the top. Or here, I didn't know what to do with. And of course, now you can change that. Uh, you can put the title whatever you want now that they have fully customizable layouts. And this is about what the tabs still look like for the colorful. They're bigger. And then they have just a rainbow color. They might have changed the color combos just a little bit. But that shows you the difference in the, you know, the tab size. Whereas these are abbreviated. These are the full words written out. So anyway, I'm just super excited about this one. It's columns. It's mostly just weekdays, little room for the weekend if needed, but the columns are so fat and I love it. So I'm just super, super excited about this one. So anyway, let's keep going. I did add a couple of dispersed things. You have the option for add-ons being dispersed throughout your book, which adds them to each month or also at the end of the planner. So I'll show you guys. It's just walking through the whole month and here we get to the end of the month, and when it starts to the next month, the uh, new month is grayed out until you move to the next section, and I'll show you guys. This is one thing I actually really like about their planners. You flip into this section, and when the first starts, these are grayed out. So you have the option to you know, use this full week, even with the grayed out ones, or under the November tab, this full week, or you can split it up and just use the blue ones on each week and keep the whole month under one tab, which I think is a really great design thing that they do. I don't know that other planners do that. I think they either put the last page of the month, they either put the full last page of the month inside you know, the month, or they move it to the next month where all you get is you know, this week here. I love that you have the option. And so moving in, this page comes with your planner and then I added in an extra notebook page for each section. So each month gets an extra notebook page. And I also added the monthly cleaning chart. I actually don't really care about this front page where it's actually the cleaning chart. I cared about the back one that's actually blank. So the sections are blank and I want to keep track of my blog posting on here. So I could do like one side for a certain blog and then the other side for my other blog here for some ideas whereas here is actually you know checklists for your monthly cleaning I'm not sure I'm gonna really stick with that but I really wanted the page that I can add things to and just check off so I added that page to every month and then like I said all the months are the same they're all gonna be the blue same way all the way to the end I got my add-in pages in each section 
and then we'll walk through to the very end of the planner and and then you get wow you get a lot of days since december ends on the 31st you get the grayed out days all the way to the 5th of january which is really good and so moving into the end i don't know if i got any add-ons at the end oh yes i did okay so those are my two add-on pages the extra lined page for the month of december and the extra cleaning list for the month and then i think it came with these dot gridded pages you get um, three pages or one and a half pages front and back then you get a passwords list, some more contacts. That's a double-sided contacts page, the holidays, and then the look to the next year, which in my case is 2020. And then I added in some sticker pages. The sticker sheets actually come with two pages usually. So this is the rectangle labels and I got two pages. It's got all the different colors there and these are just ready. And these actually fit in the other columns. So I was gonna show you guys, just flip to one hopefully relatively quickly. These actually fit in different ones. I didn't think about that when I ordered them. These are actually for the ones that have seven columns. So they actually fit perfectly in here. They don't fit in mine since I have the chunkier columns. But that's okay, I can still use them for labeling and such. And I'm sure they fit in my Erin Condren hourly as well. So anyway, that's something to note that these rectangle ones do not fit in this particular planner. So I have three sets of these. There's one set, two sets, and then the three sets. I'll include the name of these stickers as well, but this is a two set of stickers too. And I also got three of these. This one has different home type of things, appointment reminders, you know, things for doctors, haircuts, dentist, little reminder things, home shopping, garbage, and I guess laundry for the little hanger. But they've got some decorative strips, some other various banners and decorative things. And then there's also this one. This one's got really cute banners and hearts and more little reminder things. But the thing about these is they're a little bit off on the printing and cutting. So I don't know if you guys can see the circles, but the circles almost come off onto the white part. They're not centered. And for this one, it's okay. I don't think there's any stickers with white sections, but on these pink sheets, they're totally messed up. Um, I'll hold it up for you guys so you guys can see and I'll peel some off but like this sticker is running off of the actual thing it's supposed to have on it so like the sticker itself cuts I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to see this really well the sticker is just cut off and there's a little bit of white showing on that one and it's most noticeable on the banner shapes down here at the bottom and the banner shapes up here. And this drives me bonkers. So I have a silhouette cameo and print and cut. This can happen. The alignment can be off. Do you see that? That's not cool. <laughs> that should not happen. That's just a mistake, a misprint or a miscut, whatever you want to call it. But that's not supposed to happen. And all of these pink sheets are like that for me. Some of these banners up here are the same way. So this is a something that I'm going to email them about because that shouldn't happen. It's got that little white edge because they're not lined up correctly on the sheet. But anyway, that's something I can email them about. Obviously, like if they were to send me new ones, they won't be bound in my books. But anyway, they're all like that. They're all a little bit off. Mostly the pink sheets are more off than the blue sheets, but these ones are all miscut. So anyway, I've got three sets of each of those stickers. Moving on to this one, we got a little pocket, which is a cute little pocket. And then the back cover is the same way as the front cover with the thick printed sheet and then the clear. And that is it. And that is it for this planner. Another thing I don't like about this cover, it like attracts every little bit of fuzz. <laughs> Aside from those stickers being miscut, I just love the planner. I just could not believe this layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Plum Paper Planner. I will have my referral info in the description box down below for you guys. I hope you will check them out. They are one of my favorite planner companies and I think they are just so underrated. And I've always really felt like they are just, they go above and beyond. If they, I've ever had any sort of issue or question, they are quick to respond. They have great customer service and I just don't know why they're not 
bigger than they are. I just don't hear as much buzz about them as I do other planners where I'm thinking, why are the other planners so talked about and so buzzworthy when this one is just so amazing. They just, I mean, you can customize your little sections. That is so awesome. I just love that. And they have so many different options to choose from. My coil needs to slide around there. But I just can't say enough great things. I wish they would do more like the covers that Erin Condren does. I think that's one thing that Erin Condren has them beat on is the covers. But other than that, I think hands down, this is my favorite. I just love their paper. I love their printing, their customer service. I've always been really happy with my plum paper planners. Anyway, that is it for this video. I have rambled for way too long about planners in my last few planner related videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited about planner videos again. I'm really excited to do some planning with you guys soon. So be sure to subscribe and stick around and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.